Get glasses, they said. They'll improve your vision. Yeah, thanks. And welcome to this video where I'll be tasting cheesecake. Now, the keen observer may have realized that the camera angle is, well, a little compromised. That's because if you want to record kitchen tops, you either get yourself a tripod or you get fucked. I got fucked. Not just any regular tripod. I have a tripod. You need one of those coochie coochie, you small fucks. I don't have one of them. So we're doing it this way. The cheesecake I'm going to be tasting today comes from a bakery called Hart in Copenhagen. Not Hart as in the organ, which would have been rather neat though. It's like the gourmet chefs have always said. If you're making sourdough bread, chop up a bit of liver, toss it into the dough, and you've made a mistake. With the world's flimsiest knife, I'm just going to make an incision here. It's a very compact cheesecake. Looks rather creamy. Supposedly, this is one of the best ones you can find around here. I will say, this is my favorite bakery, so I might be a little biased here. But on the other hand, I have the flavor of toothpaste in my mouth, because I just brushed my teeth, which may compromise the taste. Let's see. Fuck me, that's creamy. Damn sun. Try my damn fucking hardest not to make this into a mukbang video. You, you think it's easy, it's fucking not. It's rancid, it's disgusting, and nobody wants anything to do with that shit. Except for the people who do, which apparently there are a lot. Mm. Fuck me. Damn, that's some, that's some good shit. <clears throat> Fuck me, son! <clears throat> okay, I'll be honest with you here. It feels as though Jesus has arrived and, and kissed me on the lips. Now, you may be thinking, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a homosexual thing to say that. Perhaps, but let's be honest, if Jesus came to your house, you'd probably want him to kiss you on the lips too. Fuck me. Oh, this is good. Damn. Ever want a deep throat a knife? Because I certainly do. I know that was pathetic. Mm. The crust is is perfect amount of of no what the fuck you say baked. <laughs> I don't know it's not you know burnt but it's sort of caramelized has a nutty flavor and and the inside is is perfectly creamy. It's not too sweet. It fucks with your taste buds and the exact way you want. I don't have a lot of reference because I don't go to that many high-end cheesecake places. Not that I'm aware of any, honestly, in Copenhagen. It's sort of, you go to the local bakery or you get nothing. Mm. I suppose I'm supposed to rate this. Fuck do I say? It's at least a, it's at least a nine, right? Nine out of ten. It's at least I'd I'd probably give it a nine nine point two nine, perhaps nine point four. Again, I don't have any fucking point of reference, so it's sort of comparing an apple to absolutely nothing because you haven't tasted that something else. 
It's just fucking good. If you're ever in Copenhagen, swing by Hart's Bakery. They've got the shit, I'm telling you, son. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice piece of trivia before I fuck off. While on my way there, it's a bit of a walk, honestly. While on my way there, all of a sudden, the, the exhaust pipe of, of a car just blows out probably... I'd say 31% of, of the world's CO2 emission of 2022. I obviously inhale all of that shit by complete accident, which is great. I, you know, bewildered, I look into the car and I don't see a person behind the steering wheel. I see a, a lump of, of dreadlocks. I can't make out a person. It's a bit like the religion with with the flying spaghetti fuck or whatever that's what i imagine was in the car i couldn't see a body and the car started driving i'm imagining just two of the dreadlocks just <coughs> wrapping around the steering wheel and then it just fucks out you know through the city and into the wilderness or wherever it was headed <laughs> fuck's sake <laughs> 